Hey, so if you want to grow on YouTube, then we need to understand how to do video SEO for YouTube. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in this video today.、Uh, it's Daniel P. Robertson here. And if you want to grow your audience, increase your influence, and get life changing results with affiliate marketing, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get alerted of any content that I put out for you. So I'm going to show you live. Well, it's not alive, but it's, I'm going to show you over my shoulder as I'm doing this process. How to optimize the video. And I'm going to do it with the same video that I'm recording right now. I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to select the keyword. So I'm going to do keyword research. And I'm going to go into step two, which is optimizing the title, the description, and the tags of the video for the keyword that we're searching for. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about,、uh, for step three, I'm going to talk about some of the other factors that affect ranking on YouTube. Other than just the basic metadata and the keyword that you select. So, we're going to start out.、Uh, let me just kind of explain some of the basics before we get started. So, basic number one is you want to select keywords that people are searching for online. You want to select keywords that people are actually searching for. You also want to select keywords that, if you're a small channel, that you can potentially rank for. Uh, just getting started, or as you're growing, be able to rank for、uh, down the road. And so basically, shoot, shooting for keywords that have lower competition so you have a better chance of ranking for them. So, the first step in that is to use suggested search terms. So, we're going to type in something here into the, in, by the way, this is the Morning Fame keyword research tool. And it's a great tool for researching keywords, tracking analytics on YouTube, and also learning how to optimize your videos for, for YouTube. So, We're going to type in YouTube. We're going to type in SEO optimization. And we're going to go ahead and select this, just kind of take a look at what it looks like. We're actually going to go with a different keyword because I already know what keyword we're going with.、Uh, but、um, I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like. So when you type that in, it brings you over to the second step. And that's showing you, first of all, it's showing you the first. Video that's ranking for this keyword, and that's this guy right here,、uh, Brian Dean with Backlinko. And you can see that he's getting、uh, pretty high rankings on all of these different tags that he's using. Well, not this one, but this one, he's getting high rank. He's getting he's ranked number two for this, he's ranked number two for this, he's ranked number one for this, he's ranked one for this,、uh, 17, 18. So he's getting pretty good rankings. Also, take a look here at the X. That means that this is not a suggested keyword. This is not a suggested keyword. So if you type this into YouTube, let me kind of show you what that looks like here. So if you type this into YouTube,、uh, which is the keyword is video SEO, well, it says it's,、uh, it's in here. But it's just two words, so it's not a good idea to go for a keyword that's just two words long.、Uh, basically, the suggested terms are these terms that come in when you type in here. All of these are suggested, which means people are searching for them. YouTube knows that people are searching for these terms. And those are the same ones that show up green on here. So, next we're going to go and we're going to look at.、Uh, Uh, we're going to kind of skip this. This isn't really important for this video right now. You can kind of take a look at it if you, if you get the,、uh, the tool, and that's going to be the link is in the description of my video. But let's go on to the number three. Step three is really the, one of the more important when it comes to keyword research here. So, step three shows you how well other people are optimized for this keyword term and also your chances of ranking for this keyword term based on your data. Uh, you can see here that Morning Fame has my data here because it's linked to my channel. And you can see I'm not very big. Yeah, that's because I'm just getting started here.、Uh, but、um, based on my data, it's giving me some idea of how easy or hard it'll be to rank for this keyword term. And you can see that you know,、uh, the people that are already ranking for this term have a lot of subscribers. They've got a lot of views on their videos. They've got a lot of likes and comments.、Uh, but they're only optimizing the actual video at about 37 to 42% optimized. 
based on the meta metadata, and that's the next step we're going to go into. So this step, uh, we just want to know that they are only about halfway optimized for this exact keyword. And you can see that because you can see it's based on how much yellow you see here in the results. So if there's not a lot of yellow and you don't see the whole keyword phrase on there, that means they're not optimizing extremely well for this exact keyword phrase. But here it's bright yellow, which means that YouTube SEO optimization, that's the exact match to the keyword, which means that he's better optimized for this keyword than the others, than most of the others. Um, so he's doing a really good job. Uh, so you want to look for bright yellow. If there's a lot of bright yellow, that means a lot of people are very heavily optimized for this. But also, these people are driving a lot of views to their videos from subscribers. They got enough subscribers to get views on their videos, even without ranking, which helps them to rank. So we want to look for something that might be a little bit easier to rank for. And so we're going to do this. We're going to add on tips just to make it a little easier to, to see what we can rank for. Let's take a look at what happens here. Now you can see that some of the videos ranking, particularly the, the gateway video, have left less, uh, less subscribers which means that they don't have to rely so hard on their um, their SEO, their metadata to rank. That means that we have a better chance of ranking for something like this as a small channel. Even though it's 46 to 52% optimized, um, it's still better because they have lower, some of them have lower subscriber counts, especially this one right here. This is the gateway video. So you want to compare yourself to the gateway video. You want to see how you relate to the gateway video in terms of subscribers. Uh, so if you have less subscribers than the gateway video, it's going to be tough to rank for. But as a small channel, if you're especially if you're just starting out, you've got to pick something. You've got to start somewhere. So even though they have uh, 3,014 subscribers, this is still something that I'm going to try to go for here with my video. So I'm going to show you that here of how to actually optimize for this keyword phrase. So we're, got, we're sticking with YouTube SEO optimization tips. So now we're going to go on to choose for step four. So this is telling you based on this keyword what you need to do in order to, to maximize your chances of ranking for this keyword. So you can see already the exact keyword phrase is in the title section here. So we're going to copy that. We're going to also paste this into the description. So we're going to say something like this. Learn how to do you. No, not how to. We're going to say learn you to Let's just paste it just to show you what it looks like. Learn YouTube SEO optimization tips. And now you can see that my relevancy jumped up to 92% and a B relevancy based on this. So let's type some more stuff. So let's put that in there. Next, we're going to do our tags. Now let's take a look at the tags. You see here that's only 32% optimized out of 40% on tags. Uh, it already automatically put in a bunch of tags from other uh, videos that are that are ranking for this. It pulls the, these tags from those other videos. But let's take a look. We've got a bunch of things here that aren't really that great see 2%, 2%, 2%. We're going to take these out. We don't want these. We want to get better. 
So we want these keywords to rank, to match as closely, these tags to match as closely as possible to the exact keyword that we are trying to rank for. So based on this, we what, what else can we do? We've got 500 characters we can use, so let's do Let's just let's just do this. YouTube. We're going to paste this in and we're going to do 2018. Now that puts us up to 37% out of 40 and that bumps us up to an A relevancy with 97% optimized. Let's do a little more. We're going to do YouTube SEO optimization tips, video marketing. Let's, let's try that. Let's just put it in there. So it has the exact keyword phrase in there again. So basically, I'm now 100% optimized for this keyword. Let's just do some other. Um, let's do how to do SEO for YouTube videos because I want to see if I can rank for something like this also. That's not what I wanted. It, uh, SEO for YouTube videos. That's the one I want. Let's make sure it doesn't change on me. Okay. Because I have 500 characters that I can use, so I might as well use more of them. How to rank videos. My I mean, computer's going a little slow because my screen's recording. So let's just do that. Uh, let's do. Let's do fast. I say let's let's just leave it at that. That's probably good enough for now, just for this video. So, and I'm gonna show you how this actually works on YouTube. So we're gonna go over here to the upload, and I'm going to upload uh, something. Basically, I'm gonna select something that I've already uploaded. I'm gonna upload it again, uh, just to kind of show you an example of how this works. So I'm gonna do that. And just to show you how it works, I'm going to delete this after it's done because I've already uploaded this video. But I'm just going to show you this as an example. So, here it gives me where you can put in this data. So I'm going to take this out because that's not what we're doing. So I'm going to come back over to Morning Fame. I'm going to copy the... the. Actually, I wanted to make, this, make sure this is caps. But I'm going to copy it. Let's just go ahead and copy this. It should already be there, but I'm copying it anyway. I'm going to paste this in here. I'm going to capitalize this just to make it look good. YouTube. Just because I'm picky, I want to do this. Okay. So we got that. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to do it here. I'm going to just move this down. I'm going to bring over here to Morning Fan again. I'm going to pick up the description that I copied that I put in here. And again, I'll just paste that in. And in the tags, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's go get the tags that I've selected. Copy that. I'm going to paste it here.
So basically, I've gotten the title, which is an exact match of the keyword that I'm targeting. In my description, the exact match is also there. And then there's also the exact match in a few of the tags, and also there's other closely related tags that are also relevant for this same keyword. So basically, this this video should be pretty well optimized here. Uh, now, I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to upload this because I already uploaded this video. I just chose a dummy video, uh, something I've already uploaded. So we're going to cancel that. Okay, so we're going to exit out of my computer here and I'm going to go back over to the camera so that we can talk about the other ranking factors on YouTube. Okay, so I showed you how to uh, find keywords to uh, attempt to, to, to go for, to aim for when you're doing optimization for YouTube. And then I also showed you how to actually optimize the metadata. I'm bumping the tripod here. Uh, I, also, I also showed you how to optimize the metadata on YouTube, and I showed you how to do that using the, the Morning Fame keyword research tool. And so again, that's a really good tool to help you find keywords and optimize your videos for those keywords. I showed you how that works. So now we're gonna go into some of the other ranking factors that is really important for ranking on YouTube. So basically the third step of the process is making videos that people want to watch. Making videos that people wanna watch. I know my, my glasses are kinda of glaring. Let me take those off. So we wanna make videos that people want to watch because the YouTube algorithm is designed to reward videos that get people to stay on YouTube and watch YouTube for longer. And the reason is so that YouTube can serve more ads to those people who are watching. So basically YouTube wants to serve ads. They want to keep people on YouTube. So they reward videos that keep people watching YouTube. What does that mean for you? That means you want your videos to keep people on YouTube, basic basic concept, right? So how, how to do this is there's a few different uh, factors that are important for this. First of all is to get people watching your videos in the first place. And so some things that are really important for that are the title and the thumbnail of your video. The title and the thumbnail of your video. Basically, if I'm searching for your keyword and your video pops up, your your, your, your thumbnail, your custom thumbnail, and your title have to sell me on clicking on your video to watch your video instead of someone else's. If you can do that with your thumbnail and your title, then the, 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 algo, the algorithm will reward you for that and show your video to more people. Also, if once you've gotten me to click and watch, once you've, get, once you've gotten me to click and watch, if you can keep me watching by making a good video that keeps my interest, then I'll keep watching. And then the YouTube algorithm will reward you for that as well. And so there's a whole lot of factors that go into this. There's, you know, your on, on camera presence, there's the, the structure of the content and how you deliver the content. There's, you know, uh, some basic tips you can use. So let me share some of those basic tips. Uh, so for the thumbnail, for the thumbnail, you want to make an attractive thumbnail that stands out from the other thumbnails and really tells people why they should click. The title, the title should do the same thing. It should be an exact match of the keyword that you're looking for, but it also should have, if possible, uh, maybe if you have enough subscribers to where you don't need to do an exact match because exact match will make it easier for you to rank. If you can add something onto the title that's in like an emotional uh, trigger or benefit of to why they should watch, add that into the title. If not, it's fine to use just the keyword match in the, in the title, okay? But beyond that, then we wanna talk about the actual structure of the video in order to keep people watching longer. So the first really five, 10, 15 seconds of your video, you want to be hooking your viewer into staying on your video. That's why when you come onto my video, I said, we're gonna talk about video optimization uh, for YouTube, something like that. That's I, I tell you what I'm going to tell you and why you should watch, why you want to watch, just to get you hooked right from the start. And then I deliver, you know, I, I say something like, so stay tuned, you know, 
so so you can watch you know we're gonna have you know three tips so that we're gonna show you how to do this in three tips basically I'm, I'm hooking you on why you should keep watching I've set the hook now I'm, I'm kind of stringing you along in, a, in an ethical, ethical way a way that makes you stay interested so that you continue to watch to the end as much as possible I want to keep as many people as possible watching to the end so hooking your, your viewer right at the beginning and then going into the content and delivering the content, delivering on the promise of the hook as you go through the video is a good way to do that. So uh, those are just some of the basic tips of how to get more people watching your videos and keep watching your videos so that you can rank on YouTube and optimize your videos for YouTube. If you like content like this, again, this is Daniel P. Robertson. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to grow your audience, increase your influence, and get life-changing results with affiliate marketing.